Basically, when it comes down to white mold is you want to have very good crop rotation. White mold sensitive crops, you want to have as long a rotation as possible. So basically, four or five years would be better with non-host crops. So if you are planting dry beans, you'd want to try to avoid using soybeans in tight rotations with dry beans. You're trying to prevent that inoculum from remaining in the soil. With this spring, and especially the year that we had last year, there's a lot of sclerotia already present in the soil. And that can easily spread up the canopy if we do tend to get a rain. The main thing to avoid white mold infestation in your bean crop is to spray fungicides preventatively. And the application timing for white mold with fungicides, with lance or anything like that, is at 20% flower. So these beans are just starting to flower. Probably within the next three days, you want to spray this preventively. Preventatively, if you're already starting to see the disease, it's already too late for a lot of these products. And we can never predict the weather. So if we do, if it does start to turn wet in the next couple weeks, uh, the white mold will start to take over, and it can wipe out your crop very quickly. So basically, main thing is with with white mold control is to have longer rotations, avoid white mold sensitive crops and to apply fungicides preventatively. If you have to come back 7 to 14 days with, with an application of a fungicide again, that is recommended as well.